pagkatapos ng kontrobersyal na pagkatalo ng road warrior na si John Riel Casimiro sa tie boxer na si Amnat. Isang taon nagpahinga ang Pinoy boxer at noong May 2016, dumayo pa ng bansang China si Casimiro para sa kanilang rematch ni Amnat. Parang lantang gulay na bumagsak si Amnat na milipit sa sakit at hindi na nakatayo pa para ituloy ang laban. At pagkatapos makabawi ni John Riel Casimiro sa tie boxer, Dumayo naman si Casimiro sa England para makipagsagupa sa British boxer na si Charlie Edwards. Ang Brito na si Edwards ay undefeated sa kanyang walong laban. Papausbong na ang karir ni Edward at malaki ang paghanga at tiwala ng kanyang mga kababayan na siya ang susunod na world champion. Lubos na pinaghandaan at malaki ang kagustuhan ng batang Briton na maagaw kay Casimiro ang IBF flyweight title. Huling nakaharap ni Edward ang Nicaraguan boxer na si Jose Aguilar na tinalo ni Edwards via unanimous decision. Sa pace of pa lamang, suminyas na si Edwards na mapapasakamay niya ang IBF flyweight title na hawak ni Casimiro na parang ganun-ganun lang kadali makukuha ang titulo sa Pinoy boxer. Dahan-dahan ka sa pagturo bata, baka mamatanda ka. Sangiti pa lang ni Casimiro, kitang walang balak ito na isuko. Sa bagitong boksingir na si Edwards ang pagiging champion. Round 1, nagsimula ng umatake si Casimiro habang si Edwards ay panay lamang ang jab. Tila takot makipagsabayan. Round 2 and 3, nagpakawala ng malulutong suntok si Casimiro na tumama sa mukha at katawan ni Edwards. Jab pa din ang ginagamit ni Edwards para hindi masyado makalapit si Casimiro. Round 4, malulupit na body shot ang focus ni Casimiro. Si Edwards, tuloy pa din ang jab para hindi makapasok si Casimiro. Big right hand. And a tough last ring as well. And just shot a bit dig. At nang mayanig si Edwards sa matinding kanan ni Casimiro. Oh, big up a cut. And Edwards felt that good. Edwards. And now he knows it. He set him up for other offense. This is what I like about Casimiro. He's not rushed. He seems a swagger, isn't there? There's a cool, calm, methodical approach. 14 stoppages he has, and that's a point. You know, Charlie's only showing the legs. He's not, and he's gonna have to settle down and start to catch shots. Yeah, that's that's a fantastic opportunity to catch them with. Yeah. And he set him up. He he, he noticed that. one one box that will take yeah, it because that that could have put him to Because he dipped right into it. Yeah, He's dipping right into Clean. the uppercut. And he recovered really well. Yeah, Casimiro knew that dip was coming. Yeah. But the worrying thing for me, other than the uppercut, Edwards are getting caught with a lot of shots to the body. Round five, six, and seven. Tuloy pa din ang pag-atake ni Casimiro. Pero si Edwards parang palos, susuntok ng pa isa isa sa bay atras. Is he looking at you? Which is what we need in this fight. He's getting more confident in the right hand. He's sorry, his corner did. Dare I say that for the first time, looked a little befuddled that round. Good right hand to the head, though. But watch with Edwards. Is he going to jab? And he's getting it now. Why? He went. Did lose to Amnet Ruerong in June. That recent form has been knocked out. Like that. That makes his weight a little bit easier. A meal that wasn't healthy either. He's going to be told to keep them up here, Casimiro. He had a warning a little bit of time ago by Steve Gray, but he's starting to just get through. And Edwards felt that. Oh, big shots here from Casimiro, and Charlie Edwards has to hold on and cling. And has he got the experience and knowledge and know how to do it? At least if he's going to duck that way, put his hand in front of his face, palm face, palm facing the floor, open glove, and what happens? You're powerful. Stronger and in charge, and look at that. This. Some good uppercuts there. That, that's the shot. 
again, Edwards is showing his toughness. Yeah. It's, it, again, it's, it, it, it's loading. Round 8 and 9. Tila umiipikto na ang mga suntok ni Casimero sa bodega ni Edwards. Kita na ang unti-unting paghina ng katawan ni Edwards. As the body shot again. Since you get and set up Casimero. Casimero is actually doing it to him there. Big right hand. It's another one. Oh, and he's just gripping in the amateur ring and in the young pros. But this is real many times. Yeah, and Charlie now is, it becomes this difficult. A great rivalry with Jack Bateson and... He's worried, he, you know, he's not, he's not got the experience of uh, looking at us and the body shots that he's taken there. The pros that were there look bad and they say, oh, well, maybe the amateurs can compete. Not in a 12-round fight. This is the thing about being a... You know, for the first four or five points loss. Good right. For good measure on the break. You still got that mean streak. From Edwards. Would the team, Dave, right to take the opportunity here? Or would you have waited, say, a year or two? Adam, he's, he's not disgraced himself. He's, sh he's shown a lot in a world title fight. You know, and like I said... I think that's a good point. Paul, you agree? Yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was worth taking a shot, especially at this weight class. You know, the guy, well, you know, you, even if you lose, you're not going to disgrace yourself, especially the way Charlie's been competitive and, and when trying. As many of you are there, Dave, you struggle when you were in that division. At round 10, dito na inopaka na matindi ni Casimiro. Ang panay iwas na si Edwards. Oh, beautiful shot. Walk into it. Straight into it. And he's hurt badly here, Charlie Edwards. He's going to do very well to recover. Too oh, badly. And he tried everything. That left you hook, hook, You hook with a hooker, right? Well, what they say, don't hook with a hooker. Don't hook with a hooker. You know, the thing is, he got up. He still got up from that shot. That shows, you know, what kind of kid this is. You know, he's, he's had a, a rough few rounds. But he's, he's got nailed and he's still got up trying to win this fight. I take my hat off to him. He'll come again. This will do him This will do him the world of good. There's a lot of things to learn in experience and he will come again. He's brave. He gets to his feet. His legs have gone. He's being asked to walk forward. Steve Grace giving him every opportunity. Every opportunity. Casemiro wants to get on with it. There's over a minute left. He's got a hold. Does he have the experience to hold? Can he recover from that? I don't think so. Steve Gray holds it. It is over. John Real Casemiro. He fought with his heart on his sleeve all night. Charlie did. Ch Casemiro is a tough veteran world champion. It is not always that we win our first world title shots, but it doesn't mean you're not going to come back and win a world title again. Look at these shots. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a good finisher, Casemiro. He well. is. Yeah. I would have the loved to see he's Charlie Hall, but as Adam said, he just doesn't have yeah. the experience to think of it. Yeah. You know, when you're young, you're full of bravado. You know, you you, 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 yeah. you don't want to hold. You know, on this yeah. stage. And, and you know what it is too, Adam, uh, Dave. You know what the weird thing is, guys? In the gym, successfully defends his IBF title on the road again. And it was a brave effort from Charlie Edwards. The winner, and still, the IBF flyweight champion of the world, John Riel Gessamero. Matapos matalo ni Edwards kay Casimiro, muling nakabawi ang Briton, nagtala ito ng pitong sunod-sunod na panalo, kasama na ang panalo kontra kay Christopher Rosales ng Nicaragua noong 2018 na kung saan naagaw ni Edwards ang WBC flyweight title at natupad ang pangarap niya na maging world champion. So yan lamang po ang gusto kong ishare sa inyo ngayong araw sa mga kababayan at kaibigan natin sa Pinas, mga boxing fans at mga tulad kong OFW sa mga panig sa mundo. Kumusta po kayong lahat dyan? Kung nagustuhan niyo po itong aking video, pakilike at kung po pwede rin po, mag-subscribe na rin po kayo. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Shout out kay Mr. Alfonso Cortado ng USA, Eliseo Rey ng Quezon City, Arnel Nibales ng Pujaira UAE, Jesper Atilano, Felipe Antes, Malbolio Luigi, Marge Salamanya, Bonus Family ng Toronto, Canada, Philip Ardamoy ng Taiwan, Filipino Sailors Club ng Kuwait, Dante Pilones ng Davao City, Aris Chua, Die Hard Calo, Marjon Ponce Pabro, Billy Jubildad ng Tagigat Pampanga, Wilson Akop ng Jerusalem, Nerio Morsia, Bobby Ong Suwiko, Alvin Tolosa, Vladimir Bixrak, Alan De La Fuente ng San Mateo Rizal, Margarito Duterte, Calibri ng Korea, at kay Mr. Harris Alcido. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagsuporta nyo sa aking channel. Music